Hello, my name is Daniel, and in this video, we're going to start off from where we left in the other one. So, since we already defined the math pop up, we're going to go to the Kiwi definition now. So, let's just go to the Kiwi definition, the Kiwi Tutor.kb, open it up, and let's just go all the way down to do it. All right, so yeah, let's just do it above the mat, about the abuts, about screen. Oh my god, what the heck? I can't talk. As usual, I can never talk. All right, cool. So, Let's go ahead and build it. Math pop up. Look at that. Bam. And ah, oh, come on. I keep forgetting to fix that. So size hint. And we're gonna do it um, eight by eight. Hmm. So uh, let's do Python. Uh, I forgot what mode I have to indent it automatically. Well, whatever. I just have to indent everything manually. What a pain. All right. Size hint. Uh, size hint is point in point eight. So what this means is take eighty percent uh, on the width and take eighty percent of the height. So it's gonna be eighty percent on both sides. So that should look okay. And this applies for any screen. So you see, we're not hard coding any values or anything. This just says eighty percent. So it doesn't matter how big it is. It's always gonna be eighty percent. That's the beauty. All right. So next is gonna be what is it? Title. And let's just call it result. And next it's going to be title size title size and that is going to be root the height hopefully I'm spelling the right I have horrible spelling issues as you guys have have seen and next we're gonna do auto dismiss and we're gonna set that to false alright guys so I believe this is set by by default to true so unless you want your um, pop-up to dismiss automatically by any action that the user does for example it presses somewhere else on the screen or presses the pop-up or whatever I don't quite remember the details all I know is that if it's if it's not set to false explicitly it means that the pop-up will disappear within the user's action so if you don't if you want the pop-up to stay whether the whether no matter what the user does you're gonna set it to false and that's why in the Python file we said it, you know, if it's correct, after one second, you know, disappear the pop-up. Because we're taking care of that. Um, <clears throat> and stuff like that. Alright, cool, cool. Hopefully that made sense. Now the next part is going to be about the IDs that we were doing. So remember, we used the message ID. We're going to use do the same thing right here. Like now, right now, we're going to define those messages. I'm just putting them right there so I remember that I need to put them. So message, message. And also the wrap uh, button button equals wrap button okay there we go now what we're gonna do is a box layout oops box layout now we're gonna do orientation as always and that is going to be vertical vertical oh excuse me about that I'm not sure if you guys can heard that heard that but if you did I'm sorry about that all right um padding so as always I like to do padding that with and that's going to be um, uh, two percent of whatever the screen is, and also for the height. Not, I don't know why I like two percent. I just like two percent. To me, it's good enough. You guys can obviously put whatever. And also about the spacing. So it's going to be minimum dot our root dot uh, width. So whichever one is smaller from these root the height. That's what. Uh, that's how much spacing you're going to put. And not only that, we're going to use 2% of whatever, which one is smaller. So next up, we're going to use a label. A label, as you guys know, is just a text. So this is the message. That's the message that we're going to do. And text for now, we can just do um, a dummy text, whatever. It's going to get replaced anyway, so it doesn't matter what we put there. And now H align, horizontally align. We're going to put it to the center. Now let's see. Oh, font size. Okay, okay, cool. So root the height that uh, I forgot it doesn't indent. My god, why don't you indent? I forgot the mode. I need to hook it up. Anyways, so we're going to use the font size is going to be a tenth of whatever the height it is. That way, you know, it stands out and you can see it clearly. All right, all right, all right. Now the text size. We're going to do self dot width. And then it's going to be none. So uh, I believe that this what this line does is so that the text can be wrapped around. 
so that way it expands onto multiple lines and not just you know try to fit everything onto one line because if you do that uh, you guys have probably seen in some applications that sometimes that the whole word or sentence or phrase or whatever ha half of it is like some words are like chopped out from the edges and you can't read everything clearly so yeah that's what we're trying to avoid so we're saying hey if you have to expand onto multiple lines that's cool we're lending you man that's that's what we're basically saying all right cool 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 and um, let's see center that y we're gonna put it to dot five as well bam okay I think that's oh no 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 wait how can I think that's everything how can we forget about the button man the button the button all right so this is gonna be the wrapped button there we go and the text is going to be close so that's own this button is only gonna be shown if the user gets it wrong all right so they have to press this button in order to close it so size hint uh, it's gonna be you know take up everything on the uh, on the X direction so width and then on the Y uh, we're gonna say none and when we say none it means that hey uh, you know chill relax I'm gonna tell you the size I'm gonna explicitly tell you the size so just remember if you wanna explicitly set the size you always set the size hint for that direction to none that way because uh, if you don't Kiwi's gonna ignore you just it's gonna say forget you fool I'm gonna do my own thing so you gotta tell them hey hold up I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you how I want it so yeah so as always root the height um, do it about eight so as always these are just preference of mine you can just change it you can put 10 or whatever but you know experiment see see how it looks that way you guys can know don't just copy what I do because if you just copy what I do you know you might learn something you hopefully you learn something but I think the best way is just you know seeing some code changing around and see what happens so yeah go for it man alright so on release we have on release and then root dot dismiss then we have that so this they need to in order to release the pop-up you have to do this you have to press the button so you see the pop-up the text says close and when they press close it actually dismisses the pop-up so yeah that's how it's done all right now that we have that done we're gonna have to go to the Python file because now we defined it in our uh, in our dot main.py file and in our kiwi file so now that we have it defined we have to actually use it so remember the the instance that we created in the kiwi tutor in the in the kiwi tutor class right here we're actually going to use it but we're going to use it in a different class so remember we put to do's you see there we go so this is why i like putting to do's because it reminds me what i'm supposed to do that's the whole purpose <laughs> So remember what do the to do say? Change when we create the math pop up. So hey now, hey, look at that, we created the math pop up. So let's go ahead and change it. So since we are, since we have already uh, got the root, so we just need to call the math pop up. Math pop up. And we're going to say open and we're going to pass in true because the answer is because this is only called when the answer is correct so we're saying hey the answer is correct and we're passing true and the same thing right here bam and instead of true it's going to be what false just like that and we can get rid of these to do's alrighty so if this everything is correct we should be able to go to the shell and then run it and it should be correct so let's go ahead pi3 main Bam. All right. So let's just go to whichever. What is nine plus nine? Nine. And if I press go, I should see a pop up that says awesome. Excellent. Bam. And you see, and it disappeared in one second. So if I go again, um, let's see. What is that? Fifteen, right? Excellent. Oh, bam. Okay. Okay. It's showing me a random one. Come on, man. We put randomness into this. Oh my God. You keep getting excellent. If okay, something's wrong. Excellent. What? For okay, something's wrong there's no way that I keep on getting all of these right okay there we go just by luck we've been getting them all in a row weird excellent alright whatever so what happens if I get it wrong oh correct and oh look at that this I forgot to put mark up to true so let's go ahead and do that so let's go to the kiwi file and then the label 
so yeah so let's do markup markup to true all right once we do that we should be able to go back again addition and get an answer wrong like for example look at that now it's bold bam you see dang and then we it doesn't and the pop-up does not dismiss right away after one second we have to press close so see how easy that is so yeah sweet thank you and that'll be all.